What's good, YouTube? Maysex back with another video, and today we're going to be continuing the series, looking at some of the top programs around the nation and looking at their top signees from the 24 class. Today we're going to be looking at Penn State, and this video is inspired by my man, Will Stewart, who requested to look at Penn State, so we're going to go ahead and do that. If you're new to this channel, be sure to like and subscribe. If you clicked on this video, more than likely you're a football fan, and we are on the road to 1K, so you liking and subscribing not only helps the channel bro but i deeply appreciate it but enough with all that like i said we're going to be taking a look at penn state looking at their top five signees from the 24 class without further ado let's get to it all right we're going to start with their fifth ranked signee and work our way to their number one recruit for the class and at number five we have liam andrews out of dexter school high school in brookline massachusetts andrews is a four-star recruit with a 24 7 composite score of 0.9435 he is the number 18 ranked defense alignment in the nation he held 22 total offers and is listed at six foot five 260 pounds and like most highly ranked recruits those that are really good at the high school level they're going to play more than one position so he projects as a defensive line level, but in high school he played offensive line and defensive line. Uh, was originally an offensive tackle. As you'd expect, very physical, plays with motor. It's a great combination. You're going to dominate at the high school level if you got talent and motor, and it's going to translate very well if you can maintain that at the college level. You're going to need more than just talent alone. Should get better with more experience. Like I said, he started his high school career as a tackle. The sky's the limit. People love projections and potential, and I think I think Liam Andrews is one of those guys that could be a high potential type guy. All right, the number four signee for Penn State is Ethan Grunkemeyer out of Allentangy High School in Lewis Center, Ohio. Grunkemeyer is a four-star recruit with a composite score of .9505. He is the number seven ranked quarterback in the nation. 25 total offers listed at six foot two, 190 pounds. Grunkemeyer, a highly sought after quarterback, an Elite 11 participant, which Elite 11 is a very prestigious honor to be at at the high school level. It's invite only, and they're only going to invite some of the top QB prospects around the nation. We got people like Spencer Rattler, Bryce Young, CJ Stroud. He can throw outside the numbers, really impressive. So he's got the arm strength, even though the frame may not be the biggest at this moment. He's one of those quarterbacks just looking at his highlights. He looks like he can run when needed but he definitely prefers to stay in the pocket. Penn State's been trying to get it right at the QB position for several years now. So hopefully Grunkemeyer can be that QB that takes Penn State and finally takes that next level. All right, the number three signee is Quentin Martin out of Bella Vernon High School in Bella Vernon, Pennsylvania. Local recruit here. Four-star recruit with a composite score of .9550. Quentin Martin's the number six running back in the nation. 17 total offers. Six foot two, 200 pounds. As I mentioned earlier, played all over the field, running back, receiver, safety, even played linebacker, return man, very dynamic, so much versatility. Looks like he projects as a running back. Penn State, I'd say in the 2010s, really had a good streak of running backs there. Last couple years, not so much. Hopefully Quentin Martin can provide that spark on offense. Like I said, to take that next level in the Big Ten, maybe beat Ohio State, beat Michigan. It's been a few years for both of that. But Quentin Martin, his highlight tape, north and south. I mean, he may take one cut, find that hole, and then he's either using his athleticism to go get that score, or he's gonna just run you over. Very physical guy, hits that hole with bad intention. So looking forward to seeing him. Hopefully he can carve out a good role early on and progress into an eventual starter. It's time for the top two. And at number two, we have Luke Reynolds at a Cheshire Academy in Cheshire, Connecticut. Luke Reynolds is a four-star recruit with a 24-7 composite score of .9659. The number five tight end in the nation held 19 total offers, listed at six foot four, 220 pounds. Now, under the high school level, he played wide receiver and quarterback. Projects more as a tight end, so he's definitely gonna have to put on a little bit of size. That shouldn't be hard to do. He looks like he has the frame to do so, but definitely in the Big Ten, he's gonna have to add some girth. I like watching him at quarterback, because I don't think in his huddle, he has had one pass attempt on any of his snaps at quarterback. But at receiver, definitely tracks the ball very well. Great job using his size. Boxed out as if he was a basketball player. I'm not sure if he played any other sports. Definitely used his body to shield off the much smaller corners that he was faced against. We'll see how he develops as a tight end at Penn State. And now we are at the number one signee for Penn State. 
for the class of 2024, and that's Cooper Cousins out of McDowell High School in Erie, Pennsylvania. So Cooper Cousins is a four-star recruit with a 24-7 composite score of .9731, the number one interior offensive lineman in the nation. At a massive six foot six, 323 pounds, this guy is a mauler. It doesn't take very long in his highlight tapes to know how he likes to play, and that's dirty and nasty. And I don't mean dirty as far as cheap plays and he's a dirty player, but just dirty. Like, he doesn't mind getting dirty, getting his hands in there, and creating contact with anybody that's in his way. Pretty much just looking at the highlight tapes, all you got to do is just run right, and that's a guaranteed seven yards as he was a right guard. Even at six foot six, I was very impressed. He's able to use leverage, which is a lot harder for the those taller offensive linemen to get down there and provide that base and leverage. His lower body's huge. He's powerful, dominated anybody that was in his way. He's gonna play very early and often for Penn State, and it doesn't surprise me that he's as highly ranked and highly sought after as he was as a six foot six, 323 pound interior offensive lineman at the high school level. All right, there you have it. These are Penn State's top five signees from the class. And they had a really good class overall this year in 2024, in my opinion very prestigious school. I know that they're hoping to finally take that next step in the Big Ten, so we're definitely just going to have to wait and watch. If you're a college football fan, I know you're excited just like I am and can't wait till late August, early September. And if you made it this far in the video, I deeply appreciate it. And if you haven't already, definitely go ahead and like and subscribe. As I mentioned earlier, we're on the road to 1K. Can't do that without you guys. And I definitely appreciate the support thus far. Be on the lookout. We're going to continue this series. we got a few other colleges next up on the lineup. Like I said in previous videos, comment who you'd like me to check out next. But I'm going to go ahead and let you guys go and I'll see y'all in the next video. Cheat.